it's Nadej here again. Uh, I just got home from the gym. I have my crew here, my gym buddies, so they decided to film me. But I'm about to make a salad. And I was about to grab one of the salad dressings that I have out of the fridge. And I was like, you know what, why not make my own dressing? I make dressing, so I know how to make dressing, so make my own. Especially with salad dressing, they tend to have a lot of hidden sugars. So I was like, you know what, let's eliminate all this problem because, you know, I'm trying to get my sexy one in 2014. So I figured, why not teach all of you how to make my famous honey lime vinaigrette. Simple, healthy, and absolutely delicious. So we have with us lime juice extra virgin olive oil you want to go for extra virgin when you're making a dressing if you're not cooking the oil go for extra virgin so you have more intensified flavor and we have honey to kind of like balance out that acidy taste salt and black pepper five simple basic ingredients so basically the next question is what's a vinaigrette what's the difference between a vinaigrette and a salad dressing really a vinaigrette is a salad dressing. So what makes it a vinaigrette is the lightness of it, but really it's this ratio of acid to oil. One to three. That's all you need to remember in making your vinaigrette. The one represents your acid and the three represents your oil. Right now I'm using a third cup of lime juice and a full cup of olive oil. If you don't like fractions, feel free to use a cup of lime juice and three cups of oil. Your acid doesn't have to be. Your acid doesn't have to be um, lime. It can be apple cider vinegar. It can be regular vinegar. It can be rice wine vinegar. Anything you want to go with. So your oil though, keep it extra virgin. Okay? So we're gonna start because I'm hungry and I need to eat my salad. So our lime juice, just throw it in there. And our oil. What's important here, and again, this is the most vital part in making a vinaigrette, is this oil needs to be slowly, and I mean slowly, like turtle paste, drizzled in with your acid. Because it needs to get emulsified. Word of the day, emulsification, emulsify. So basically, you're trying to break up those that oil, that glob of oil, and by slowly drizzling it with the liquid, what do they always say? Oil and water don't mix. But you can get it to mix, at least for a while. And that's where the word emulsification comes in. So when you do it slowly, the acid breaks up those oil bubbles and it kind of like blends. Okay? So if you don't do that, and I teach classes and students tend to do that. They'll read a recipe that says uh, vinegar, oil, and they're just throwing that oil in there. And what happens, you have a big glob of oil just sitting there. It never gets mixed in there. So if you want to avoid that, please take this time and work out your arms. I just came from the gym, so I already got an arm workout. But you know what, this is worth it. So it should take you about two minutes or so, maybe three, to slowly drizzle in that oil. But just do that. Slow, slow, slow. So once you do that, as you get closer, get a little closer, cameraman. You see, the oil is not as yellow anymore. It's kind of like a lighter yellow because it's being broken up and it's kind of like fluffing up a little bit and thickening up a bit, right? Oh my God, my arms hurt. And I'm hungry and I worked out already. But again, I'm using only a third cup of lime juice and a cup of oil, but if you want to make enough where you have some in the fridge, feel free to multiply the recipe, okay? So it doesn't have to be this thing and by the way you see this is a great bowl it doesn't move because it's heavy but one of the difficulties that a lot of people have with making vinaigrette at home by themselves is if you're using a stainless steel bowl it tends to move around right but if you have if you're if you happen to be at home all you have to do is grab a dish towel or some wet paper towel and wrap it around the bowl at the bottom 
and it won't move. So that's like your little dish buddy, um, like kitchen buddy if you happen to be by yourself. But you know, like if you get a heavy glass bowl, you're good. So you see, this is what you're looking for. See, all blended together. That's what you want. And now we're gonna add in our honey. I'm using about two tablespoons of honey. There's a small spoon, so I'm adding that. But again, feel free to use as much honey or as little honey as you want. I'm using honey because I'm trying to give up all that sugar. Like I said, trying to work out a healthier 2014. So I try to eliminate it when I can. So that way I can enjoy my cookie when I really want it. Okay, so we're going to mix that in. Once we do that... That's it. We're just going to season it with our black pepper. And what I love about this is once you understand the structure of this one to three ratio, a little salt, not too much. Once you understand this ratio, you can go so many directions. You can cut up some salads, cut up some red onions. What I was originally going to make was this guava vinaigrette. So this I have here. Come closer. Let me show them. This is some guava paste that I have because I make these guava patties and people absolutely adore them. So I had some and I wanted to try something a little different. So I was going to make this guava vinaigrette, but then I was like, you know what? I just came from the gym. Let me go healthier and do this. But you know what? You can try that. If you don't want to season it with the honey, just season it with the thing. Bye bye. So that's it guys, all you have to do, you have your dressing and you can have something healthy that you made yourself. Enjoy! Okay, turn it off, I wanna eat now. Go, 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 let's go, let's go, I wanna eat, I'm hungry. Turn it off! <laughs>